This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Today we're bringing AP extraordinaire Michael Hand on to talk about his two favorite camera apps while I counter with two of my favorite iOS apps in the same category. If you guys like it, maybe we'll make it a regular, you know, segment kind of thing. Oh, and Windows Phone and BlackBerry users, send us your favorites too and we will mention them. So first off, I guess I'll, I'll kick things off today. All right. Um, one of my favorite apps is called Snapseed. And now it's uh, it's actually created by Nick Software, which is now part of Google, but we don't see too much of like Google branding or any kind of mm -hmm. weird Google integration with the app. Um, even though they're owned by them. Um, what I like about this app is the way that you can do some really nice photo editing all with like the touch of one hand. The editing menus remind me kind of like the twist navigation that you see in like Windows, the older Windows phones, like the zoom kind of navigation. Oh, yeah. okay. You know, so you go up and down to get mm -hmm. to the different menu items and then left or right to actually affect the changes uh, to the photo. Um, you can also do things like crop, you can straighten, you can add filter effects, kind of like Instagram, but they've got a little bit of a different twist onto mm -hmm. them. And it's easy to export to any number of other app services or your camera roll. Also, it is totally free, which is fantastic. And it's on Android, too. Is it? Yes. Oh, well, that makes sense because it's owned by Google. Yeah, so <laughs> that's an Android option, too. Oh, so. nice. All right. You didn't cover that one, did no. you? No. Okay, good. We don't want to double up too much. Um, next up is called Square Ready. Um, Instagram fans will get a huge kick out of this because it helps you make a landscape image squared. Um, it either does that by cropping it or adding letterboxing. You can also flip, rotate, and change the color of the back. Background. Now, Square Ready is also free, though there is a pro version with more features. Um, though I really, you know, I don't really need to, for it to do anything more than just make a photo square, so I can do it on Instagram. <laughs> That's square kind of what photo. I want, right? Square Ready. So, so what have you got on your on your Android device over here? So when I was researching this, I realized that. I usually just want to take a normal picture. Um, and for that, I know it's not available for a lot of people, but the built-in Android 4.2 camera is mm -hmm. really good. The navigation, it's like a you, thumb navigation where you press down and then you can choose the different options from there. Mm -hmm. I really like that. But I wanted to come up with two other ones that are good. So the first one that I came up with is called Camera 360. And this has a really decent set of shooting modes. It has, my favorite is, it has a stabilized function, so mm -hmm. it waits to take the picture until the camera's still. So that way, um, it cuts down on blurry photos. Oh, interesting. So it can actually sense when the camera has stopped like shaking or wiggling around exactly. and then uses that exact moment to yeah. take the photo. Yeah, I tried it on the bus, it didn't work at all. It's like, sorry, it's, <laughs> it's like too, too, much. too shaky. <laughs> yeah, um, it also has like a burst mode and just a normal shooting mode. Um, but that one's good for, you can take up to eight megapixel pictures on my phone, um, at least. And it's good for just taking a quick picture and then sending it, doing a couple of filters, and that's it. Um, some people really like FX camera, but I found that it's similar to camera 360, but it's way slower. Oh, so okay. that's the reason why I like that one. Gotcha. Um, second app that I came up with is called Vignette. This one, I really like the navigation. It's kind of like you hold it up, it's dual, thumb style, so some of the menu options are on the right, some are on the left, and you choose through that. That has even more shooting modes. It has like burst mode, it has the stabilized function, it has an underwater mode. If you have an underwater case, I guess it shuts what off the screen. Do? Not exactly sure. I was afraid to e even to enable it. it. I was <laughs> you know, I bet Patrick has some kind of waterproof case somewhere, so maybe we can get our hands we on should try and it out. test it out. Um, so I really like that one. The downsides that I found were for adding filters, it was kind of clunky, it didn't really give you a preview of what you were your picture was gonna look like. You kind of just had to try it out and then come back and try a different one. Um, and also, the free version only does 0.8 megapixel pictures, which hmm. I guess that's enough for if you're doing a sharing site, but if you want like a really big photo that looks nice, then you have to get the paid version. Gotcha. Yeah, but I thought those two were pretty good, but like I said, I like the built-in camera app better. That one's your personal favorite? I think so. I nice. just I just have boring pictures of random things that I thought were cool. Now you were showing me the other day an app where you can actually find the the color codes of of different pictures. Yes, yeah, so that's I want to use the camera for cool things like that. Like that one, it's called Color Grab, and you kind of just go throughout the world and it gives you the hex code for whichever colors. And then there's another one that I really like called Cam Scanner that you can 
pretty much turn your camera into a document scanner. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. So that's what I like. All right. Well, we want to hear what you guys think. If you have a favorite camera app for either iOS, Android, Windows Phone, or even BlackBerry, let us know. Send in your suggestions to Texilla at revision3.com. Thank you so much. That was good. That was fun. Thanks. We'll have to think of another cool category to do next time. For sure. Maybe, uh, I don't know, what, what do you think would be good? Maybe geocaching apps. No, we already covered that. <laughs> All right. We've got more of Texilla still to come, but first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? You should be looking at a .com. We all know the .com domain name is the original and the best. It's globally understood, gives your website immediate credibility, no matter how weird the name is that you choose. The best place to find a new .com domain? Domain.com. Here at Techzilla, we like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. They've got an active social media presence on Twitter, so if you have a problem, just hit at Domain.com. It's unlikely to will, but hey, they got great customer support, makes it a good place to do business. Not enough for you? How about a fat discount? 20% off with our coupon code. And I gotta say, domain.com, price is already low. All you need to do is use the coupon code TechZilla. When you check out at domain.com, you get 20% off, people. Big time savings. Don't forget, TechZilla coupon at domain.com. Save money. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. Notice that's a dot com.